right? Because we see that CPC management scum and Tory scum are trying to, you know, come into our communities, rip up collective bargaining, tear up <coughs> and institute two-tier wages for young workers, rip up pensions, right? While well, keeping management pensions. And we want to say, hey, we support the postal workers' struggle because it's our struggle. So our... Because we, we have a choice. We have a choice in the society we want to live in. We have a society where managers try to squeeze every nickel and dime out of profit from our labor and from our communities, or we can live in a community where we look after one another, where an injury to one is an injury to all. So to get us sort of started, it was awesome to get riled up with uh, management scum there. Um, but I thought I would just do a little chant to rile us up. It re requires you guys coming real close to me. Like, you know, breaking some personal barriers and, and, and coming in real close. Because if we're going to win this, we have to be together. So to be together, we have to huddle in together. You got to get closer. Don't be shy. Well, let's get in close, guys. Close. Alright, ready? Yeah. I'm, we're gonna do a chant that's gonna go, we're fired up, and then you're gonna go, we can't take it no more. Alright? So we're gonna start real low. We're fired up. We can't, can't take, take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. We can't take it no more. We're fired up. Alright. So I'm gonna invite to the mic uh, Trevor Beckerson, who's the president of the local Nova here. And uh, Trevor. And she's just gonna say a quick couple of words. Alright, follow that up, brother. I'll do my guys, best, sister. Guys, there's a manager going through. Yeah. Uh, well, manager? I think he's just some dictator through him. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I've been asked to mention. Can everybody hear me okay? No. no. What's going on? Hello, Kes. Yeah. We're good. I think I need to stand very, very close to it. <laughs> How's that? Better? Yeah. All right. I've been told to mention that there is food here for everyone. Feel free to come up and get something to eat. And I promise this will be some new material that you haven't already heard before. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, thank you for being here. Especially, I want to thank their members from the Public Service Alliance of Canada here, the Union of the Canadian Union of Public Employees. We have a member of one of our other unions at Canada Post, the Union of Postal Communications Employees over here. And I'm very pleased to see our brothers and sisters from CAW Local 2002. Who after strike action have just started to reach a tentative agreement with their employer. As many of you know, brothers and sisters, the government is rushing to legislate us back to work. Shame! They're doing this, brothers and sisters, for one simple reason. They are losing. They're losing. They're losing because of that. They're losing because the public is with us. We have the public here, too, today. We have people from our community who support what we do. The other reason that they were losing is because of each one of you here who have taken the time to come out to the picket line, each one of you who have taken the time to support your brothers and sisters. If you're here and we were winning because you stood together, because you stayed strong and you stayed united. Even when the boss decided to get dirty and cut our benefit plan. Yeah. 
gang. Even when they decided to get dirty and cut the hours of the part-time workers. Shame! Even when they got even more dirty and decided to cut the hours of our letter carriers. Shame! And even when they got a little dirty just before they locked us out and tried to cut the hours of the retail workers too. Shame! Despite all of their attacks on us, despite their attempts to antagonize us and push us onto the streets, you stayed strong. You stayed together, not just as a local, not just as a HMPP or as a DDC, but as a union, as a nation, as 50,000 workers who said, enough is enough, we will not tolerate any more of your rollbacks. We will not take your concessions. We will not take your bullshit on the floor anymore. And the employer heard you, and they got scared. So they had to go to the government and say, this isn't working for us, we need to change the game. So we're going to see what the next few days bring with this act to legislate us back to work. It's a really good sign that Air Canada decided to back down on the, our brothers and sisters in CAW. And they're backing down for the same reason that we've got all our support here today. The public understands. That's right, the power to the people. The public understands that we are not the enemy. We are not lazy, greedy, overpaid postal workers looking for a handout. They understand that we work hard. We suffer for this job. Many of us are injured. Many of us work long, long, hard days out on the street to provide service to the public. And the public, they understand, brothers and sisters. And they're here with us. Woo! Woo! Some of them may not be here today, but they're all here with us. There's a whole nation of Canadians, 30 million of them, give or take a couple of assholes. The other, but they're all here with us, and they all stand with us. And I want my brothers and sisters in the CUPW to remember this. Even though we may get legislated back to work, we didn't lose this battle. We won this battle. We won it from the first day, and we're going to win it from here on in. As long as we all stay together on the work floor, as long as we remember that the boss is our enemy, despite all of their attempts to turn us against each other, we are together, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. So, can everyone hear this fine, or do I need to use this guy? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, as uh, as many of you know, probably last night, um, the Harper government decided to um, give warning that they're going to put forth legislation to. Uh, make the postal workers go back to work, even though they're locked out. Um, and I thought we'd do this, this chant. Um, so we're gonna beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat, beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat, beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat, beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat, beat back the Harper attack. We're gonna beat back the Harper attack, we're gonna beat, beat, beat. Back. The Harper attack, we're gonna beat, back. The Harper attack, we're gonna beat, beat, back. The Harper attack. Yo, yo, yo! Yeah. Okay, so next up to the mic, I wanna bring up uh, Kaylee Kennedy. She's from this little community group that we started called Support Postal Workers. Yeah. And she's gonna talk a bit about that.
We've been talking to our friends and our neighbors about showing support for postal workers by putting signs like that one way over there up in their windows so that you know that there are people who support you in our community. Yeah. We've been spreading the word about your struggle and how people in our communities can support locked out workers on the line. And we've been out here on the line to give moral support, to bring baked goods, coffee, whatever you folks need. We're organizing in our community because we know that your struggle is our struggle. Yeah. As a young, unemployed worker, I need workers like you to fight against two-tiered wages. Yeah. To fight for good, yeah. well-paying, stable jobs in our community. Yeah. And adequate benefits to ensure that people like me can have safe jobs in the future. Yeah. Yes. This fight, though, it's just the start of the attack Harper and his ilk are launching on our communities. Pitting the public against letter carriers, old workers against young workers, unionized workers against non-unionized workers, all works in the interests of bosses, CEOs, and the Harper Conservatives. Shame. 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 That's right, shame. In these hard times, we will need to stay strong and stay united. The swiftness with, with which the Harper government and Labour Minister Lisa Raitt are willing to discuss guard the collective bargaining process and table back to work legislation is disgusting and dishonest. Where was the Labour Minister and where was Stephen Harper when Canada Post decided it would only deliver mail three days per week in clear violation of Canadian law? Good question! I don't need to say that her silence speaks volumes. There is no debate that the government of the day is on the side of the bosses on the side of management, on the side of the rich and powerful. Harper is no friend of our communities, and we need to fight back with courage and force against this government's attack today, tomorrow, and for the next four years. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't think of a better example to follow than following the postal workers and the Canadian Union of Postal Workers. For those of you here who are not locked out CUPW members, for you community members, I'm going to give you a challenge right now. I want to thank you for coming, but your responsibility doesn't end when you leave the line today, or even when the picket lines end. While these folks are out here walking the line, and when they go back to work, it's up to us to talk to people that we know, and even people we don't know, about why we need to be working together in our communities to fight for good jobs, fair wages and benefits, and safe working conditions for all workers. This struggle is our, wor our struggle too. I've had the chance to meet workers on the line. I met some on Tuesday um, and some this morning. Um, and I met them when post my Canada Post refused to let letter carriers deliver mail to people like me and this morning. And I found that a lot of you are my neighbors. I hope that when this battle is over and the war in our communities continues, and the war wages on, we'll still be standing shoulder to shoulder and continue to defend one another. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some chance and then I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do some thank yous first. So I want to thank Jess Ross for bringing this, this PA system. Yeah. Let's say a big thank you to Jess. She's right there. Raise your hand, Jess. Right there. Um, I want to thank you, King. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong. Kafka is like the King's Alternative Food Cooperative yeah. Association.
Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Um, so a couple of things. If you are not a postal worker and want to help out and be supportive of postal workers, we're having a, a meeting at, at Just Us Cafe on Spring Garden. Um, it's going to be at 6 o'clock yep, on... Yep. <laughs> 6 o'clock on Friday. God, I don't know. 6 o'clock on Friday. Please come out. Um, if you can't make that, Elise here has a sign-up sheet that we would love your information. So we can coordinate food, we can coordinate childcare, we can coordinate postering, and we can coordinate canvassing, right? Because we want to take all this power that's here today and then keep using it and grow it. If you don't have a poster in your window, put it in your window. If your neighbor doesn't have a poster in your window, knock on their door, even if you don't like them and get them to put it in their window. And we also have some, some new posters, very timely posters, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tori Scum. Um, oh, no, no. Tori Scum, your time has come. Um, so I thought I'd lead us in uh, a quick, quick little chant, which is, uh, this is just about cutbacks, right? It's about saying, you know, there, there's some fat at, uh, I can't oppose, it's true, it's this word for it, it's called management. And uh, they want to cut workers' pensions. They want to institute two-tier wages for y like new young workers to break the union. And they want to institute sort of horrible working conditions. We gotta say no to that. So when they say, cut back, we say, fight back! back. He's gonna say, fuck that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know which one we want to go with. When they say, cut back, when they say cut back, we say fight back. <laughs> when they say cut that, we say fight back. When they say cut that, we say fight back. Cut back. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna um, invite someone up from the line from the CAW. Woo! Uh, Woohoo! Dorothy. 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 Jesus. Dorothy. Dorothy. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, brothers and sisters. I am proud to say that we have uh, barely got a collective agreement, we believe, and uh, we hope, anyway. And we go back to work tomorrow morning, and it's been a long struggle uh, out on the line the last few days. And I want to specifically thank many of the other local unions who've been out and been uh, helping us pick it through, and we're going to be here for you. Um, I. I would say to you that this whole issue started in Wisconsin when yes. the government of Wisconsin yes. decided that it was going to get on the case of its workers. And I think that uh, we have the proper government here in Canada to do exactly the same thing. And unless we put a stop to it right now, in the early stages, they're going to be doing this for the next five years to other people too. That's right. So, uh, I thank you very much for your support. When we were on the picket line, we're going to be here for you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, one more, one more chant. I'll try not to stumble my words. So. There ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't, don't stop. Say what? There ain't, ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? There ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? All right, one one last speaker we got. We're gonna invite up Kyle Buett. He's the president of the local labor council. <laughs> well, brothers and sisters, I have to say I'm a little disappointed that we've got to be on a lockout line because guess what? The Canada Post has a responsibility to deliver the mail. It's a public service, and this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I want to bring you greetings on behalf of President of the Federation of Labor, Rick Clark, who wasn't able to be here today. Rick was in a workplace injury and, of course, with a broken leg, but we're hoping to see him out on Saturday when we have another rally for you guys. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, a few quick things. One, I want to give a big shout out to CAW 2002. You guys fought back and you won. Yeah. Woo! 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 And that's what we're dealing with, brothers and sisters. Let's be really, really clear. The Harper government 
has decided to attack workers. It is not just workers at Air Canada. It is not just postal workers. It is not just going to be the members of the Public Service Alliance who are fighting cutbacks. It's going to be all of our unions, it's going to be the unemployed, and it's going to be all of the others that require our country to actually protect people and build an economy that works for all of us, not for the rich few fat cats skimming the cream. Brothers and sisters, the other speakers have mentioned everything that's going on in this strike, in this lockout. Jesus. Um, but let, let's also talk a little bit about what is happening with our right to strike. Because we fought this battle before. In fact, a few years ago, we fought this battle at the provincial level when the previous Tory government tried to take the right to strike away from 32,000 healthcare and community service workers in Nova Scotia. Guess what? We fought back and we won. Yeah. And this is part of a broader Fight Back campaign that is happening across the country. And I want to share with you some of the most inspiring stories. Yesterday in Toronto, International Association of Machinist Members at the airport walked off the job for 25 minutes to back their members at Air Canada. Several of them were fired. Now those workers are going to get their jobs back, don't you worry about that. But guess how the IAM responded? By doing the same thing with even more workers. in Winnipeg, there was a rally of 800 nurses, just nurses, and they were out there to make sure that they're supporting postal workers because they get it. And brothers and sisters, this is what is happening across the country. It's not just in Halifax, it's not just in Winnipeg, it's not just in large cities. In fact, this weekend there's one in Sydney and there's ones happening around the country. So brothers and sisters, it's really simple. If we fight back, we win. If we stand united, we win. And guess what? This time, we're gonna win. Yeah. I want to invite all of you out to another rally that we're organizing. It's gonna happen on Saturday, June 18th, this coming Saturday, 2 p.m., right in this area. Please come out and show your support for the workers at Canada Post and of course, our brothers and sisters across the country who will be dealing with the Harper attack. So, I'm going to leave you with a chant and then a question. So I'm going to start with the chant. Does anyone know the band Twisted Sister? Yeah. yeah. So, so you know the chorus of the song? Okay. So I'm not going to use the mic because I can't sing. Uh, but I'm going to start it off and I want you to join in. We're not going to take it. No, no we ain't going to take it. We're not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Makes me wish I went to uh, workers taking the mic, and they were. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's it in terms of rallies. We have so much food, all right? You have to eat this food. Don't go home, cook dinner. We have amazing shish kebabs, we have burgers, we have hot dogs. So promise me that's all going to get eaten up, because um, uh, we'll break bread together and we'll fight together. Yeah. Okay. I thought I'd lead us in, in uh, a chant. Uh, I, I like this one. It's, it's going to be popular for the next four years, so get used to it. Tory scum, Tory scum, your time has come. 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 I asked up the rhythm. I asked up the rhythm, I'm sorry. What? Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so let's do one more chant. The people united.
will never be defeated. The people united 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 will never be defeated. Never be defeated. All right, so we'll see you all on Saturday. We're going to come out on Saturday, right? Yeah. All right. Two now let's eat. So, so, so. Solidarity. So, so, so. Solidarity. So, so, so. Solidarity. So, so, so.